Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free live wallpaper tool you could use on your computer to have animated or live wallpapers. So it's called Live Wallpapers Plus. So you can get it from the Microsoft Store. So just open the Microsoft Store from your start menu here. Do a search for Live Wallpapers Plus. Make sure it has this icon and this developer here. And then once you install it, it'll either say Get or Install on this blue button here. And then once it's installed, you could open it up. And you can see we have various wallpaper samples here, and we have some categories. So if you want to see everything or just the live ones here, you know, nature or travel, and just go through the categories like so. And then over here, you have the option to add your own wallpaper. If you want to choose a display for your wallpaper, if you have more than one monitor. And then this just opens up Taskbar Plus, which is another tool of theirs that they want you to try. And then here we have some options for helping about, and then we have some basic settings here. You want to have it start with Windows. When you do that, it will be down here in the system tray, so you can access it easily if you close it. And then you can have the system tray icon shown or not. And if you want to see effects and animations in the user interface, you can turn that on or off. And then some of the wallpapers have sound, so here's a volume slider for them. All right, so let's try one of these out. Let's say we want to try out this alien planet. So if you click on the three dots, you can preview it, which will just open it in its own window here. And not actually make it your wallpaper. Then you can open the file location if you want to see what file is associated with it. Share it, delete it, and edit will pretty much just let you change the name and description and that type of thing. Nothing too fancy. All right, so let's try this one out here. Just double click it. Now we have our wallpaper here. And we can just do our normal stuff while we're using it. And then if you want something else, you can either come back here and pick something different, or you can right-click on your desktop, you know, go to Personalize like you normally would, and then pick your new background from there. Or what I've noticed, too, is if you go to the three dots, go to Edit, and then Cancel it. It will actually reset it. All right, let's take a look at another one. So let's go to the lively section here so we can find just the animated ones. So maybe you want some clouds in the background. You could try that. It looks like this one got selected instead of this one for some reason. There we go. Okay, and then of course, if you want to add your own, you can choose a file or drag and drop it. So let's say we go to our pictures here. So we want this one. And you can give it a name if you want. So it's just another way of adding a regular picture, but then it'll add it to your library here of other files. It just kind of puts it in the middle. It doesn't put it on top right there. And then you can come here and delete it if you don't want it or edit it. All right, let's see if we could add this MP4 video file here. So you can hear this one has sounds because it's playing the video file. And once again, we could come back here and click on edit. OK. 
cancel it to go back to just our default or you know obviously pick another one all right so there's your overview of the live wallpapers plus animated wallpaper app so once again just open the microsoft store do a search for live wallpapers plus look for this icon install it and that's all you need to do so this might be a little resource intensive so you might want to open up task manager while it's running let's see if we have add one here let's let the cpu kind of settle down here all right let's try loading this one again So you can see it kind of spiked for a second, then kind of settled back down, but it is probably going to go up a little bit when you're running one of these animated wallpapers. So keep that in mind. All right, so once again, find it in the Microsoft Store, install it, and you'll be ready to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.